Oh my god, hey! It is me, Mickey Joe Theatre. Welcome back to my stage YouTube channel, and today I'm doing something kind of crazy. I'm going to be taking part in a 24-hour musical. This is a sort of a community theatre amateur dramatic project where everyone who has signed up arrives at the theatre at 7.30 on the Friday night and then begins to rehearse a musical. We don't know what it's going to be yet, we don't know who we're going to be, uh, but we will be rehearsing for 24 hours and then performing it on the Saturday night. So we get told what the show is and who will be playing at 7.30 on the Friday when the rehearsals begin, which is in a couple of hours. And they send out clues every year. I've been doing this almost every year since the beginning. I did Guys and Dolls, I did Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, I did Anything Goes, I did The Wizard of Oz. Last year I did 9 to 5, there's a vlog of that here on my channel if you want to go and check that out. And I've been pretty consistent at being able to guess what the show is every year. They've been sending these increasingly cryptic email clues. And based on those, a few weeks ago I had reason to believe that it might be Andrew Lloyd Webber's Cats, which feels like cursed to even suggest because it's one thing learning like script and music in 24 hours but learning choreography to the level of a jellical ball kind of a situation that feels intimidatingly unrealistic to this date one of the most chaotic things that's ever happened at a 24-hour musical was year one the crapshooters ballet in guys and dolls i've told this story in videos before but essentially everyone was doing a different part of the dance at the same time and it just descended into chaos. And that's not as long as the Jellicle Ball, so if it is Cats, this is gonna be an experience. Basically there was one slightly conspicuously worded line in an email that said like, if you do this it'll be really useful, and I was like, really useful? Like the really useful group who produced Cats? And then there was another that was teasing the show and it said, what could it be? What could it be? And I was like, that's a conspicuous repetition that reminds me of, who will it be? Who will it be? From the beginning of Cats. But not only that, the thing that usually clinches it for me is when they send vague suggestions of what to wear and what to bring. And there's been lots of discussion of dance wear, different types of dance shoes, and neckwear. They've been really non-specific about anything else, but I feel like cats have different accessories. Like some of them wear pearls and like collars. The word catnap was used in the email a couple of times. And they also asked people to bring sort of round metal things. The example they gave was a, a sort of a wheel with spokes. And I was like, are we doing the train from Skimbleshanks the Railway Cat? The year that we did Wizard of Oz, they asked people to bring red and white umbrellas and that's how I guessed it was Wizard of Oz because I was like, oh, poppies, snowflakes. Oh my god, hey, you're sideways right now because I just filmed a little bit of a promo reel trying to tell people about the 24-hour musical happening this weekend, trying to sell some tickets. And so you may have seen this clip already on my Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, wherever, but what you may not have seen, if we turn you the right way round, is the clue in the background. There's a cat, because I still think it's cats. I'm convinced this is cats. At this point, I have so completely convinced myself it's cats. I've been doing what I have been calling feline fitness for a week. I've been back at the gym because I've not, I've not been show ready. I made Aaron watch the 90s cats recording with me the other night just to re-immerse myself into the Jellicle world. And I've pretty much brought exclusively clothes that would work for cats. And if I have to play a human, I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to dress for one. At this point, I've committed so hard. And if it's not cats, I worry that I'm just, I'm just too dedicated now and I'm just gonna have to play a cat in whatever show this ends up being. Like it could be West Side Story and I will be playing a cat, a cat who is in a gang. But we will find out very shortly, which is both exciting and terrifying. I haven't been on stage for a year performing. Like the last time I was on stage was this last year. So that's exciting, but also scary. Erin is coming to watch tomorrow. Are you I excited? Am. Yes, I'm very excited. Are you excited even if it's not cats? Yes, but I feel like we've committed so much that it has to be cats. There's a lot of expectation now that it's going to be cats. Which cat do you think I should slash will be? Okay, we think that you'll be Rum Tum Tugger by what the clues are of what you've got to wear. I've been sent a specific costume thing, <clears throat> which um, the reference point I've been given is Billy Joe Armstrong from Green Day. And I'm like, that doesn't line up with many cats to me, but is it like a contemporary version of Rum Tum Tugger? So it's like, I think it's either Tugger or it could be Monka Strap. Those are the two that I'm like 
think it'll be between. In the back of my mind, I've loosely prepared for like Monka Strap, Rum Tum Tugger, <laughs> Mistopheles. I wouldn't cast me as Mistopheles, FYI, because that is a dance part, and I don't know. That's not a dancer. But let's all giggle if you end up being old Deuteronomy and have to do a meet and greet in the interval. Or Gus. You want me to be Gus because you think that would be funny. Well, Gus, it's, the Gus is the theatre cat. Gus is the theatre cat. He's also like really old, like conspicuously old. Like quite frail. Yeah. And it's my birthday in like a week, so that's just gonna give me a complex about aging. Okay, I've arrived at the theatre. It's there. We're in Camberley, comma Surrey, comma United Kingdom. Um, they have a show on this evening. I think it's a I think it's a Tina Turner tribute show thing. So I'm enjoying the discrepancy between the people turning up for an evening at the theatre on a Friday night and the people turning up with pillows looking anxious. Um, but I've dropped off my suitcase. I have less stuff with me than I did last year. That's a win, because the backpack I brought in addition, uh, well, it's only one backpack and it's smaller than either of the two bags I brought as well as the suitcase last year, largely because a lot of the costuming is easier to scrunch up into a ball because it's dance wear, because I'm still pretty sure it's cats. Um, I'm waiting on a bench outside the theater with a McDonald's. I just went to go and grab because I haven't had dinner yet and I've got some for my sister who is driving up to once again join me this year. Uh, we did it together last year, which is super fun because we used to do shows together when we lived in the same place and now we live in different places. Um, so once a year we get to do a show together, which is fun and we can be moral support to each other as we become increasingly exhausted. So waiting for her car and I'm gonna wolf down to McDonald's and we're about Ooh, 45 minutes away from finding out officially what the show is. I'm excited, I hope you are as well. Okay, we have been welcomed into the room and there are boxes on the table with names on and this makes me nervous. What's in the boxes? What do we think is in the boxes? I'm thinking wigs or ears from cats, 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 cats. Wigs, ears, live cats? Yeah. There's a hole in the box. An actual cat. Everyone gets cat. That's a great souvenir. I'm allergic. I'll die. You must learn a show <laughs> and you must keep it alive for 24 hours. Not have anaphylactic. <laughs> it's an added component. It's as challenging. <laughs> 10 minutes. 10 minutes till we find out what it is. I'm nervous. I'm concerned. A lot of people don't believe me about what I think it is. I still think I'm right. So. Um, as you all know, you will come along here, we will soon let you know what show you are going to be rehearsing for the next 24 hours. And in 24 hours and 8 minutes time, we will be starting to perform this musical uh, to hopefully a fabulous audience. On the count of three, you can open your box. Three, two, one. <laughs> Stop panicking. <laughs> We're singing Jellicle songs for Jellicle Cats, then we're going to dance it. If you thought this was stressful... Dancing cats! Oh yes! Jellicles are and Jellicles do, Jellicles can and Jellicles do, Je No, that's too many Jellicles. Jellicles can and Jellicles do, Jellicles can and Jellicles can, Jellicles can and Jellicles do. I think I've got the lyrics. One hour in. Page three. In at astronomical height, handling pieces from the Messiah, hallelujah, Angelical. 52. We're still singing <laughs> Jellical songs for Jellical cats. Okay, we've learned one song. We are going to go and learn to dance a different song. Oh, are we not dancing that song? No, we're dancing a different song. Which one? I don't know. It's a fun surprise. What could it be? What could it be? What could it be? But first, um, I'm going to pee, but I have... Ugh. Why are you blocking me out your shop? I was trying to show my jazz trainers and I realised I'm not that flexible, which doesn't, oh, doesn't bode oh, well sure. for the show we're doing. <laughs> Oh, there you go. It's a nice jazz trainer for you all. Ahead of our first dance rehearsal, Playbill water bottle, mine's a strange loop. Lovely. Oh my god, hey. We just learned the end of the Jellicle Ball. Technically, we learned the last minute of a six minute dance. And the mood of the room is sweat.
10.54. The night is still young, very young for a 24 hour musical. Um, and we have danced half of the Jellicle Ball, which is exciting. I don't know if there's people in the foyer. Oh, it's 10.54. No, this is fine. I can say the words Jellicle. This is okay. I have, I have been sweating slightly. And we're gonna go sing some more things now, which is exciting. I don't know if I've told you who I'm playing. Have I told you who I'm playing? As we plunge into darkness, I am one of three Munker Straps. They've divided the role uh, to make it a less intimidating amount of material, which is exciting. Um, it's also a slightly condensed version of the show. I think it's the junior version. Back to singing. This is the schedule. Where are we? Down here. I know. Down there. This is where we're at. Midnight. Not a sound in the, the foyer. Where's pavements? There's the pavements. Also also not a sound from the pavement because we are now locked in the building and it is literally it's literally just gone midnight we're learning grizabella the glamour cat right now we've just burned through a bunch of songs in music rehearsal it might seem like we're going slowly but it's actually going very well and who would have ever supposed that Okay, it's half midnight. We have had uh, some more harmony rehearsals and a pep talk. We're gonna go and see the stage. Um, also, the boys have been called upstairs to a dance rehearsal. This is where it becomes less like everyone doing the same stuff and more people breaking off into smaller groups. Um, so we'll see what happens next. We're seeing the set. It's a beautiful pile of garbage, <laughs> but deliberately. That's a, that's a compliment for cats. Okay, we're going onto the stage for a walking tour. Look at this! This is nice! Got some... Goodness knows where they got these. Where did they get a ship's wheel? Who brought that? This looks like Heaviside Layer sort of steps. We have like fun places to come from. This is nice. Lots of feline crawling opportunities. Oh gosh. Over here. I feel like someone could emerge from there. So, oh, there she is, emerging. This is, that's, that's gonna give you splinters. Lots of boxes. This is where Amazon comes to die. Oh, and a broom, lovely. And this is the view out from the stage. Uh, it's one of those kind of auditoriums where uh, it's just sort of one level of seating that goes up and back, uh, which is fun. And this is what it looks like to perform to the Camberley Theatre. Dan has become the Sainsbury's trolley cat. <laughs> The hysteria is setting in at three and a half hours. Oh, nearly got kicked in the crotch. That's fine. Okay, the boys have been sent to go and rehearse the Rum Tum Tug number because apparently this is now a boy dance number, which is... Boy dance? Which is... <laughs> boy dance. It's normally not. No, this is boys not... Trip. It's normally a girl dance. This is not welcome news, but you, you, you roll with the punches in a 24 hour. And that's it's a big part of this process. Roll and step, stop there. Roll and step. Got some more additions to the stage, got some nice hanging backdrop moments. I don't know if they're specifically giving me 1930s London, but by all accounts this seems to be a more contemporary version of Cats because we're dressed like a 90s boy band, so it's a freedom of expression free for all. I'm all for it. Oh my god, hey, it is 3.32. We've just been staging some stuff and staging the opening which always takes the longest. Um, but we're still doing well for time. We're making good progress. People are going for a 10 minute break now. We're about to put choreography to the section with all the adjectives that people find intimidating. The practical cats, dramatical cats, pragmatical cats, fanatical cats, that bit. Uh, so we're taking a 10 minute break before then to ready ourselves emotionally. Still feeling good. It's 3.46. 
I may change into like comfy wear and like as in pajamas. I may change into my pajamas at this point because the tiredness creeps up on you. This is what I've learned from previous years. I still feel fine. I've been trying to stay awake until like 2, 3 a.m. every night this week. So this shouldn't feel too late to me, but before too long, it might. I would normally make a priority of organizing my things, but in the chaos of the rehearsal so far, this is my particular corner of the chaos that is this room. Heading back into the auditorium and you can hear the clickety-clack of tap shoes. Can we talk about how dusty my tap shoes are? I don't know if you can see in here. They are so dusty. They haven't been worn in over a year, or probably in a year since I did this last year. There you go. What time is it? It's tippity-tappity time. That's what time it is. Oh! Some lovely feline tap going on over here. Oh, very nice. It is now 5.47. Doing some more staging. We are heading towards the end of Act 1, I think. I'm testing out another pair of shoes. Nice little, nice little red number. Nice little stage picture here. This is everyone being mad at Grizabella for non-discernible reasons. And they melt away. Oh, it's good stuff. Okay, I don't even, it's after 6 a.m. I think? Yeah, yeah it was yeah. 10 past like five We've continued ago. staging and rehearsing, uh, but we are wearing snooties. Yeah. Say what happened with yours. <laughs> I'm so tired. I put it on backwards and when I put the hood up, I thought I'd gone blind. That's how Rach is doing, that's how. <laughs> That's how, that's how this is going for us so far. Ah, back to the very bright function room. Here's an unpleasant realization. The sun is rising. That's not what... It's still the middle of the night. I haven't slept. Why is the sun rising? Okay, the mistake of the year has been made. I should have brought my slippers with me because at this point I want to change into a comfortable shoe. And these, like... They're nice, but they're just, I'm basically just wearing socks and then jumping around on a stage and my feet hurt. And I don't know if my feet are going to hurt less between now and the show. I feel like this is just it now. This wins the award for the worst harmony line in Cats. Wait for it. It's the ups. What's that? I did that thing again where I fall asleep. <laughs> yes, we did. Look at my hair. What's happened here? This is fabulous. It's not good. This is. Good luck, boys. Well done. This is the mood of the hour right here. If you go on the guides to the piano, it's all there. I've played it all out, of course, to all the tour of you to listen to. So if you need to, just whiz it forward to where you need to be. If not, just come and ask me and I'll record Okay, it is 8.30. Just like last year, I fell asleep around seven in the middle of a singing rehearsal, brightly lit room, people singing vocal harmonies loudly around me, fell asleep in my own lap. Uh, people are heading off to breakfast. We have an hour for breakfast, which is a very important part of the day. Um, and the consensus this year seems to be that spoons will be the breakfast destination. The hard part about this year is not singing the infectiously hummable songs that we have just been learning because we don't want the people of Camberley to know what the show is. And the title of the show is like every other word in these lyrics. I am uh, waiting for my sister and then I'm gonna go get some spoons. Spoons who are not gonna know what's hit them on the breakfast shift on this particular Saturday morning when 40 exhausted and, and unhinged musical theatre people arrive. We are back from breakfast. I had a lovely sausage and egg muffin with a hash brown. Technically I had to send the first one back because it didn't have, didn't have an egg. Um, but eventually I did and a nice bit of orange juice and I feel slightly more like a human being. I need to change it to completely clean clothes and brush my teeth and then I think I'll feel like a functional human being. But we're about to do a stagger through. Uh, we've got nine and a half hours till the show. We've got four hours till the first dress rehearsal. Quite a bit still to do, but we're in good shape uh, considering previous years. I feel like uh, we're definitely ahead of where we've been in some previous years. It's 
It's crunch time. It's 11.47. Less video at the moment because we have been running at the Jellicle Ball. Uh, I'm now dancing it on the floor in front of the stage uh, because second row floor, better than front row stage. That's front row and lifted. Um, but I think I'm pretty much to grips with it. So yay, go team floor. Go cats of the floor. Um, but we're uh, filling in some gaps, uh, catching up on some other stuff, a couple more songs, the naming of cats. That's a whole spoken monologue section we need to put together. Uh, but it's coming together, and I think we've now officially blocked everything in Act 1, which is exciting. Um, and yeah, caught to 12. Still an hour and 15 before first run through. Um, and we still need to block Act 2. But this, I'd be lying if I said this hadn't happened before. We're about to test a pyro that will be used in the Mr. Mistopheles number, as and when it adjusts to the correct temperature. It, needs to warm up. it does need to warm up. So it might go off in Mr. Mistopheles. Could go off in memory. Wouldn't it? Ooh! Oh, that's a brave, that's a brave man. Yeah. That's very cool. Oh my god, hey. Lots to discuss. First of all, we've passed the point in the day where too many things are happening for me to film and update you, but lots of rehearsals, lots of panic, and a full run-through. We did a full run-through of Cats, and I blacked out for some of it. I said most of the right words, I sang some of the right notes, and I danced the hell out of the Jellicle Ball, in my mind. What it looked like, I don't know, because also, Cat. I don't know how much of a perspective on this I can give you. I've got these ears that like, I, I approached someone while I was backlit in a corridor um, to get from one side of the stage to the other earlier. Apparently it looked terrifying because like, horns. Um, I've got this going on, I've got, we're doing cat suit but under normal people clothes. So I've got like, punk, rocky, emo-y, punk rock cat, skinny jeans, jazz trainers, going on. Oh, I have a tail. Let me show you my tail. This is my tail. I just hit myself in the face of my tail. Um, I need to give my radio mic back um, because we've been doing this now for 22 hours. It's 20 to 6, quarter to 6, um, and we're taking a little mini break before we work on a couple more things and then start getting ready for the show that people are going to come and see. Ah! What is my hair? I mean, my red is well. This is, this is cat's chic. Cat's chic. How has your 24-hour experience been so far? Um, less stressful than last year, but... True. Hoping we pull something out the bag, question mark? Listen, a terrible dress rehearsal usually means great yeah. show. Yeah, the pressure's on you though this time. What? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh my god, hey, video update. Oh, yeah. I've been doing the Monka Strap makeup, um, and with the wig on, we look like Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. That's what it is, that's what it is. But also, cat-like. I think this is going to keep melting, so I'm just right. chucking something on there. Uh, but we have a lot of dancing to do, so that's going to happen. Okay. I also look like that one guy from Kiss who looked like a cat. But I'm a little bit living out a lifelong dream right now. How are we feeling? Show ready? Yeah, and I look like the cereal mascot for Kellogg's. There you do! Green. You do! Yeah, it'll be fun. Like if he was designed by AI. Yeah, with AI, AI Tony the Tiger. Met Tony. I mean, yeah. I might change my name to Tony. I'm just fascinated by my own cat face. Who did your makeup? I did my makeup. No, you did. I did my makeup. I did. Thank you. Thank you. Yay! I makeup did my... video should be on the channel. I did all the monkey stream. That's the next. I did all the monkey straps because we had to look the same, and I wanted to do mine. Oh, and I have good clown white, Blanc de clown. Hello. <laughs> it's me, Aaron, and here's Sean, and we have travelled all the way to the Cumberley Theatre yes. to see Mickey in the show. Yes, yeah, so we're going to head in mm -hmm. and watch the show. It is 7.22, almost 24 hours since we started the 24-hour musical, and that also means the show is about to begin. We've had our 15-minute call. Um, we'll probably be getting a five soon. I'm stressed. Did I mention I have the first line in the show? Like. 
I know it because I grew up with cats on VHS. Um, but still nerve wracking nonetheless. I am a scaredy cat. I made several mistakes, but I had a fun time. When else am I going to get to dance a version of the Jellicoe Ball? I'm, I'm, living, I'm living a childhood dream right now, and I did it. Uh, I'm using this footage to see if my makeup needs to be reapplied, and like, clearly some areas, but broadly, this is a good advert for whatever setting spray I borrowed, and I'm a bad influencer for not being able to tell you what it was. Also for Blanc de Clown. Yay for Clown Light. Sean, what are your interval thoughts of your first time seeing cats? Well, it's like a fever dream, so it's cats. <laughs> People are having a blast on stage. And it's a lot of fun to watch. You nearly gained a cat to take home with me. I did, I did. Yeah, she knows that on that. So one thing that did happen was when I was booking our tickets, I thought we were in like the third row back, or like the fourth or fifth row back, because it was row C. We turned, and on the seat in front of it, it was row C. When we arrived at the theatre and took our seats, we were on the front row, which meant that the Jellicle Ball happened right in front of us, and as, Mick, as Sean just said, he, he gained a, a cat. He gained a cat at the end of that one. But it's been a lot of fun and I'm so proud. I welled up. I literally started. I had tears in my eyes when he had his big solo. Very proud, very proud to be on here right now. <laughs> I love how committed everybody is. It's like commitment. Commitment. Oh my god, hey! Oh! Oh! <laughs> this is the aftermath. This should be the thumbnail. I Look at this, the weirdness of this cat bodysuit, by the way, because this one was like a really low neck, and so I have like the world's smallest cat's crop top over the top of another bodysuit. Anyway, we did it. We did cats in 24 hours. They didn't make us do the Jellicle Ball as an encore, which I thought they might. I'd have been down, honestly. Oh no. I'd have done it. 
Uh, I'd have done it. I'd have maybe made fewer mistakes than the first time, or maybe <laughs> not. Maybe not. Who knows? Um, I'm not ready to stop being a cat. I'll be honest. But also, someone needs to not let me leave this theatre with a tail because <laughs> that's dangerously possible. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm going to de cat now. It's been lovely spending this time with you all. <laughs> meow. Oh my god. Meow. Oh my god. Hey. Two days later, and I am back where I started the video on the sofa in my home. It is Sunday evening. Uh, we've had a restful-ish day today. I got 11 hours sleep. I think I will still be catching up on some more tonight. Um, everything hurt this morning, my God. Doing 24 hours of rehearsing is one thing, but we've never done such a dance heavy show as a 24 hour musical before as Cats. So running the Jellicle Ball that many times and then doing it that many times and like committing to it with feline energy um, leaves battle wounds, I will say. But had a great time at the 24 hour musical. Aaron is here with me. Hello. And Aaron came to see the 24 hour musical. I did. Yes. You smashed it. Thank you. Um, so you can give some insight because nothing really went wrong. Normally, in some years, we have a laundry list and it's like very <laughs> fun and funny things because I feel like the audience who goes to see a 24 hour musical would be disappointed if nothing went wrong. Like if we were just yeah. to put on like a really good show and it all, they'd be very impressed. But like. It's it's a part of it to see, like, a little bit of chaos, a sprinkling yeah. of chaos. But there wasn't really that much. No, not that much really went wrong. Did you have a favourite moment of Cats? So I, find, I think the campus moment was Grizabella walking out into a smoke-filled doorway. That was fun. The stuff they did with tech this year was really, like, pushing the boundary of what can be achieved in, like an Amdram show, let alone in 24 hours. I was really impressed by that. They did some really cool stuff. Oh, and also... You brought me a gift. I did. This is my child, everyone. <laughs> this is my cat child. It's a little kitten. I don't know what I'm going to call them yet. I mean, they have a Beanie Baby name, but they should have a 24-hour musical name. And you can make them dance the jelly yeah. ball. Do you want to show the people what you've been practicing? <laughs> and like, fun kick. She's show ready. And bah. Bah. <laughs> But yeah, I've had a great time. If you're considering doing something like this, do it. It's great. Um, uh, it was lovely getting to meet some new people, getting to see some other people I only see once a year. And like, I've, I've enjoyed doing all of these, but there was something really special about doing Cats, a show I've had a lot of love for all my life. And I, a show I never thought... I would be able to do because it's a show I shouldn't do. I'm not a dancer. I'm not a cat. And and so getting to that meant a lot to me. It meant an awful lot. Cue picture of me as a child dressed as Mr. Mistopheles. Uh, and then cut to picture of me dressed as Monkerstrap right before we went on to do the 24 hour musical. It's been a dreamy, exhausting, maddening weekend. Thank you all for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. There'll be another one this time next year. <laughs> um, so we all have that to look forward to. In the meantime, I hope you're staying safe and that you have a stagey day. Bye-bye. <gasps> Bye-bye. <laughs> For 10 more seconds, I'm Mickey Joe Theatre. Oh my god, hey. Thanks for watching. Have a stagey day. Subscribe! <laughs>